What's going on everybody, DBTV here, and today we finally have a new video for you. I wanna welcome you back to the channel. I'm glad that you came back. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing at the end of the video. I don't want you to subscribe now and then not like the content. So if you get to the end of the video and you like the content, think about hitting that subscribe button. Give us a like, let me know any comments, concerns, ideas you may have for me to do a video on down in the comments below, or reach out to me on social medias. Daniel Bromley TV on Twitter and Instagram. Other than that, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. We're gonna get right into the video. Today, as I'm sure you've seen due to the title, we're talking about the Lenovo Smart Clock with Google Assistant. Katie got this for me for Christmas last year, so I've had it for quite a while. I've been wanting to do a video on it. I just never had the right time to do it, but now, here we are. It's a nice little piece of tech. I never thought in my life that I'd be saying that Lenovo had a good piece of tech, but, you know, Things change, I guess. So this smart clock is really, really nice. Uh, it's got the Google Assistant in it. It's honestly, if I'm gonna be real with you guys, it's a glorified Google Home Mini with a clock face on it. But it's still nice to have. It was only $50, same price as a regular Google Home Mini. So we figured, why not? Let's check it out. I had an alarm clock from my stepdad that looked like it was from the 1980s. Felt like it was time to upgrade, so we did. So the Lenovo Smart Clock has a four inch IPS touchscreen display with a 480 by 800 resolution on it. It also comes with a one inch by 1.5 inch three watt speaker, and it's also compatible with 2.4G and 5G dual band Wi-Fi in your house, as well as being Bluetooth 5 compatible. I will say I have it set up with my whole Google Assistant home system deal, and we have smart lights in our bedroom and it does do a very good job on most days. Sometimes it's a little bit slower. You know, you say, hey Google, we'll turn off the bedroom lights and you sit there and it just kind of spins and it spins and, and then the lights finally turn off. And then there's other days where you say, hey Google, turn off the bedroom lights and then you're walking out the door and it's off before you get out of your bedroom. It's hit or miss. It's to be expected with the home assistant type stuff. None of them are perfect. None of them ever work as fast as they claim they do, but it's still nice. You can connect your Spotify to it, things like that. I have all mine set up. You can play music from the bedroom, and then you can transfer it to the one that we have in our dining room. Cool stuff like that. It's pretty nice. So, like I said previously, it's basically a glorified Google Home Mini with a clock face on it, but it does come with a lot of other clock faces. I think it's a nice touch. Some of them are cool, some of them are kind of, eh, that's kind of where the Lenovo part of all of it starts coming in. They look dated, it looks like something that Lenovo would release, but nonetheless, it's still pretty cool. It's also got things like the weather clock face, which will tell you what the weather's like outside, as well as kind of give you a visual, like if it's raining, it'll have like little raindrops on the clock face, or if it's snowing, thunderstorming, so it gives you kind of a visual representation, like if you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh dang, what's the weather outside, you turn over, Look at your fancy clock, and it's got the weather right there if you have the weather clock face on, and it shows you if it's raining or what whatever's happening outside. So that is a nice touch, but like I said, the other clock faces that it comes with, some are really cool, some are neat, and then some you can definitely tell eh, not really the most appealing to the eye, but what are you gonna get for 50 bucks? It still is a very great alarm clock, Google Home Assistant, whatever you wanna call it, I like it a lot. So there's not really much else to say about it. I mean, it's a very nice, smart alarm clock with the Google Home Assistant kind of stuff like that. It does have a very nice kind of fabric, light gray fabric finish over the top of it. I think it blends in nice, as you can see in some of this B-roll that I've been using. It definitely looks well with other things. It's not too, you know, stand out-ish. It definitely just blends in. But at the same time, it catches the eye with the changing clock faces and things like that. Really nice, you know, small, contemporary type of alarm clock. And it's not your basic one, it's got some customizable features that a normal alarm clock or maybe even a normal digital face alarm clock wouldn't have. So, it's got its ups and downs, but for 50 bucks, I think it's a very good alarm clock, a very good clock period to have, especially if you have all of your Google Home Assistant things and you wanna have another room with an assistant in it, but you don't really want to buy another Google Home, get an alarm, get the Lenovo Smart Clock. It's it's a very nice piece of tech. You know, there's not a lot to it, but it's definitely, to me, worth the money. So, yeah, anyways, go check that out. If you want to buy it, go buy it. It's available everywhere for about $50, and 
yeah. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today, guys. Thanks for watching this video. We're gonna hopefully be back with another video here in a couple days, maybe a week or so, and we're just gonna keep moving on this. So, until the next time, catch you later.